Hey everyone, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. This is a daily reading for the 15th of February. If anyone um, is interested, we just put out Valentine's Day mini love readings for the 14th, which is Valentine's Day. So uh, happy Valentine's Day, because if you're watching this 15th reading, then it's Valentine's Day, because all my readings go out the day before. So I hope you guys have a great Valentine's Day tonight and enjoy yourself. But this reading is actually for tomorrow, the 15th, okay? All right. And the Valentine's Day readings are very short, mini, mini little oracle readings for love, okay? Very, and it's for each sign. Each sign has their individual little love reading. Time stamped up at the top, okay? All right, guys, let's get into it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the 15th of February, 2023. What do we need to know? Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Okay, there we go. All righty, all righty. Beautiful, beautiful energy. All right, let's talk about this. What a great reading. All right, so I'm going to say we have, <laughs> these are great cards. This is the Light Sears Tarot. All right, so we start out this reading and, um, wow, really? All right, so we have, um, we do have like, uh, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, could be anybody, could be anybody, really. The King of Pentacles here feeling really um, kind of left out in the cold or something might have happened or they're, they're recovering from something. Could have been a work situation, um, could have some been something to do with third party or a relationship or anything. This could be masculine, feminine, I don't care. Okay, then we also have the Tower reversed and we have the Wheel of Fortune reversed. All right, now... I feel as if this is all about to come in, okay? And don't freak out because towers, especially in my readings, especially at the beginning of a reading, usually bring in something really good. So this person could be bringing in something good to you after you've been sitting here like this. You could be this person, you know, especially if you have Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo in your sign, but you do not have to. Scorpio's here as well. I see something about to come to some kind of culmination here. And this is going to bring in a tower, but it's also bringing in the Wheel of Fortune, this is like fortune hitting all of a sudden, you know, wheel of fortune is the karmic wheel, um, but it looks very positive. Um, it, I feel like this is just now happening. Okay. Now keep in mind when this hits, boom, either coming from this person or you are this person. Okay. Something's coming in and it's going to hit. And when it does, Woohoo! We are happy. Page of Wands. This is really happy good news. Really happy good news. This could be something that you've waited for, called on, you know, manifested. The hermit is here reversed. You've done your internal work. You're done with that. You're now enlightened. This could be information that you've been waiting for that re you receive. Ten of Wands falls off your shoulders. That hill that you climbed is now over with you're it's all downhill easy sailing happy joyful blissful news something's getting balanced out six of pentacles death of the old and the birth of the new this is the death and rebirth card what a great card and for some reason you're still stressed out are you worried about something so you know when the tower hits it's fearful sometimes but what you don't know or what you may not know is remember what i said i wasn't even thinking of this card but when that tower hits don't freak out don't freak out okay this is somebody who's like oh my god oh my god i don't know what to do freaking out but when you realize it that this is something so positive it couldn't get more positive it's just such a good reading so guys really don't freak out when this happens and it has to happen because it's about uh, it's the karmic wheel it's about divine timing and it's due now it's go time so the news is when you receive this information don't freak out because it's something I feel that you have either been waiting for or will be so happy about. If you don't realize it at first, you're going to realize it later. It's going to bring balance into your life. It's going to help you not have to climb that mountain anymore. It's going to be the death of the old and the birth of the new, and it's for your good. 
All right, let's get into it and find out what this is about. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Some of you immediately are going to just celebrate when you hear this news. That's how good it's going to be. All right, let's find out. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. What do we need to know about this reading? What are the messages? What do we need to know about this reading? And what are the messages? What do we need to know? What are the messages? This is the 15th. This reading is for the 15th. All right, let's do it. All right, let's take a look at that exciting news coming in. Tell me about this page of wands. Devil. All right, so to me, this says when that tower hits and that wheel turns and that you're detaching from the devil. Now, keep in mind, we were talking about a Capricorn right there. So this also could be good news that comes in from a Capricorn. Um, or you could be that Capricorn. It is divinely guided. It is meant to go this way. Let me get another one on the devil with the page of wands. I want another card on the devil with the page of wands. Whoa, absolutely sweet freedom. If you were stuck in something, this news, High Priestess Reverse, is information that's coming out that is like amazing. Okay, something that you were, same thing, different day. I can't budge, I can't move, I can't leave. All of a sudden, it's like this information comes in, truth, clarity, justice, whatever it is, and we have graduated an old cycle. This is something you definitely want to come in. All right, whether you realize it or not, there's some kind of re, um, information coming out with that news. It's very positive, very positive. All right, let's look at it. What, Whatever it is, it frees you to go into a brand new cycle, but it's so positive. It's not like if you were stuck in anything, this is your moment to get out of it. Uh, or felt, you know, trapped in something. We all feel that way sometimes, right? Let's look at the death and rebirth. No, let's... We're going to get to that one. Let's look at this Nine of Swords. Why are you still so stressed out? Nine of Swords. Okay, so the Page of Swords is about this news or information. It came out on its side. So you've been stressed out about... I almost feel like you're waiting for this to come out. And it has something to do with the past. And you have been so stressed out because you needed some kind of truth or clarity about something to do with the past so that you could move forward and have that graduation from the old cycle. And as soon as you graduate from this old cycle, remember, this is all, it's all happening simultaneously. It's like, boom, something hits and you're done. You're free of an old cycle and you're in a new one. For some of you, this is a legal decision. Tell me about the hermit reversed. Wow, absolutely. Look at that. The Nine of Wands, the Wounded Warrior. And look at how the Wounded Warrior, beaten, battered, bruised, backed into a corner, took down everybody. All done. Done. Knight of Pentacles says, look, whatever happened here, and you might have been like gone within and stayed there for a while. You have a lot of Virgo coming through in your reading. There's something now moving forward. There's an opportunity coming in, or it's all about you finally moving forward after being trapped in something. Remember, something's like releasing you. Tell me about the Ten of Wands here reverse. No more climbing that mountain. You are down the other end of it and you are done with it. Tell me about the Ten of Wands reversed and the Death and Rebirth card. Ten of Wands reversed and the Death and Rebirth card. Just one or two. Whoa, whoa. All right, there's something coming in for you that looks to me like it's someone's going to tell you something that you didn't know before. See how the moon is, there's a lot of confusion and there's that cat and the cat sees a panther and 
you know, everything skewed and confused. Someone's going to come in and apologize to you. And I know that because the page of cups is here too. Someone's going to come in and tell you something about something you didn't ha remember. You were stressed because you didn't have all the information. There's something here about you didn't have clarity on something. Someone's going to come in and give you the information and they're coming in with such care, love and concern. Like they really mean this genuinely. All right, they could be a Cancer, a Pisces, Scorpio. They could be Virgos here very strongly. Um, they could be anybody. Um, let me look at the page. No, yeah. Virgos here strongly. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini is here. Capricorn's here. Um, Sagittarius is here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio is here. Not that any of this has to mean one thing to you. Some of this could be astrological timing. This could mean so many different things. These signs I give out are for people that are very schooled in astrology. So please don't try to make it fit. Okay. Just the, the, the messages that come out right to the end of this reading and multiple different messages could come out right to the very end. That's what matters. Okay. So that's what you should be listening to the most. All right. Let's look at the six of pentacles. Something's getting balanced out here. Um, let's hold on one sec. What do we need to know? One or two at a time. Something's getting balanced out. We need to know about the six of pentacles in the upright here. Why is it like this? Yeah. I'm telling you, some kind of good news is coming in and it's coming in in divine timing. For some of you, it could be coming from a Sagittarius from the past. This person could be an emperor. This could be somebody you care about. This could be someone who's important to you. This could be a boss. This could be a friend. This could be anybody. This person shows up as, um, they show up here as a Capricorn, uh, a Sagittarius, an Aries, uh, why can't I say it? Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. Okay. But this really could be anybody. Um, strong Virgo too. So this all could be, this could be somebody from your past, but look how positive it is. You're going to get news about something getting balanced out. It has to do with the emperor from the past and it's divinely guided. Listen, this could even be someone that, um, passed away that you're waiting for, you know, your inheritance because it's like, this person's like, here, I brought this in for you. Um, you know, it's very possible. There is definitely a very strong, well, look at the bottom of this deck. We've got here the Ace of Pentacles, the Nine of Cups, the Chariot, and the Three of Swords. This one's on the bottom of the deck, but when you see behind it, look at it all. The Chariot, the Nine of Cups, the, the Ace of Pentacles. This is like my your wish come true, your forward movement, your victory, your new beginning after going through something that was hurtful, painful. Something could have happened here. I don't know what happened here, but what I really see is the end of a long journey, the end of an uphill climb. Everything's downhill from now. Don't freak out anymore because I know, I know that you've been freaked out about getting to the bottom of the truth here in the situation. Um, I'm not sure quite why, but all of a sudden, boom, you're getting the information and with like care, concern, apologies. There's somebody bringing you something that you didn't get. Um, I'm not sure what this is. I hope you guys will tell me what this is. If you can down below, um, it's been a source of stress for you. And I feel like you've had to fight for it possibly too, with that, uh, wounded warrior up there, or you've just been through so much. This is like a blessing that shows up in your life. You know, keep this in mind. All the struggle could have been from something else, but this is a blessing showing up in your life somehow. Let's ask the angels. Angels, what do we need to know? It's like the death of the old life and the birth of the new. You could have somebody really great just walk into your life. Give me one more. There's that freedom. I see it. Look at this freedom right there. It was hidden under the other ones. Remember, when this tower hits, it frees you from something. The devil leaves whatever it was, if you felt trapped in something, or if you had lived through some kind of a tower in your life or something that happened to you, I don't know what it is, but forgiveness and discernment came out. Use your judgment. There could be some kind of, um, you know, this forgiveness is, could be self-forgiveness. I never ever say anybody should forgive anybody who put them through three swords to their chest, but also I do see an apology happen over here for some reason. So, I don't know if this is somebody coming back in to apologize to you for something that happened in the past. Now, I am not saying that you're moving forward with this person. You're moving into 
happy honeymoon time with this person or anything. I mean, people from our past can come back and apologize anytime they want. They could be in a 12-step program and it's part of their job to apologize to you. But I really feel because of all this balance coming in here and this, like, this is like something major. Good news, six of pentacles, the emperor, the six of cups, and this temperance. This is something being balanced out for you that had to do with some kind of an emperor or someone in your life, whether they're still in your life or not, or whether you are the emperor or not. You could be the emperor. Whatever it is, it's something coming in for you. It could be some kind of a legal judgment. It could, it's the end of something that ends very positively with not only information coming in, balance coming in, it almost feels like justice coming in and apologies coming in. And yes, someone may come in and say, hey, I'm so sorry it had to go this way, but dot, 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 there could be a reason, right? Um, I don't know where the forgiveness is here. It could be self-forgiveness. It could be forgiveness of others. It's going to be different for each of you. But what I do know is what is coming in for you very positive very very positive something you could have either been waiting for or something that you are just being rewarded after a long very difficult journey in your life enthusiasm spirit says get ready to have more excitement in your life to do more things in your life whatever it is that's coming in it really is going to lead to something very positive for you. It's definitely the death of the old. Done with the old. Okay, I don't know what that means for each of you. It's probably going to be different, but I think that you're going to enjoy it. It's positive. Anyway, let me know, guys, what this is. A lot of someone, uh, there's so much of someone coming forward saying something doing something information you waited for that was a struggle to get to it was so stressful waiting for it and then look at it all hey i've got this for you hey i'm so sorry hey i really care hey i'm so sorry you went through this something it clears up confusion and something that ha and it's there's a truth whatever this truth is like i said it could even be justice is going to change everything the cycle will be done death of old birth of new and finally understanding something that we couldn't see clearly before balance it's a, it feels like a gift that's what it feels like so when that tower hits don't freak out it's bringing in blessings for you anyway good luck guys i hope this helps in some way it's a little bit cryptic you know it's going to be different for each of you i hope you guys know what it is I hope you'll comment down below and let me t know if you think you know what it is or if you do know what it is. Also, please don't forget to like the video. It helps the channel grow. And I appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys soon. Bye.